my name is Yu Huajiang. I'm an associate professor in the, at the New York Institute of Technology College of Osteopathic Medicine at the Old Wesley, New York. My title today in, in, at the International Academy of Cardiology Annual Scientific Session 2015, 20th World Congress on Heart Disease held in Vancouver is about Jones phenomenon and a, a new model of dual pathway AV nodal conduction. Our new model is based on two new findings. One is a phenomenon we discovered termed his electrogram alternance, also known as Jones phenomenon. The second is a new finding of a discrete electrical propagation pattern inside the AV node. So we discovered during fast pathway conduction, if you record his electrogram from the superior his bundle, the superior his electrogram will be high in amplitude. Its amplitude will decrease during slow pathway conduction. In contrast, if you record his electrogram from the inferior bundle of the his, his bundle, it's termed inferior his electrogram. Its amplitude always low during fast pathway conduction, while its amplitude will increase during slow pathway conduction. So this phenomenon indicates there are two inputs from the AV node into the his bundle. In contrast to the current textbook model, which stress on the final common pathways. Recently, we also demonstrate during dual pathway conduction, there is a discrete electrical propagation pattern within the AV node. Fast pathway propagates in a superior to inferior direction across AV node axis and its fiber orientation. Once this transverse actu uh, activation is easy to fail within the superior domain, once it fails, it permits longitudinal activation along the inferior nodal domain to activate the inferior his bundle. So this transverse versus longitudinal activation will result in an electrical dissociation in the distal node, forming the superior fast and the inferior slow dual inputs into the his bundle. So in contrast to the current textbook model, model which stress on dual pathways in the proximal part of the AV node and a final common pathway before the his bundle. Our model is based on transverse versus longitudinal activation inside the AV node and the, the dissociation of the distal node to forming the superior fast and the infinite slow dual inputs into the his bundle. So we hope our new model and a new index will help in determining AV conduction uh, in patients clinically.